Hey, welcome to I wanted to go through with you some of the more popular iPad only apps uh, for stock market analysis and you know just general stock market stuff. So what I did was I went on to the app store for for Apple again, looked at the um, iPad only apps and I came across about six or seven of these. Uh, so I'm going to show you, uh, give you a walkthrough. We're using these as a, as a source of inspiration for building out my own app for iPad and, and iPhone iOS devices. So before I get started, I just wanted to remind everybody, I'm only building this for myself, these apps. Nobody else will get them. Uh, nobody, uh, not for public consumption, none of my members. This, these are for my only use um, as it stands right now being uh, today, um, November 18th or in around there. Okay, let's start with the first app. It's called Stock Markets. Uh, oh, wrong one. Okay, yeah, we want Stock Markets, not my software here that's doing all this recording. So, okay, so if you've kind of been watching me with the uh, Telerik software uh, library for iOS apps. You can see here, uh, there's two very similar uh, things that we can do. We have here on the top right, extra functionality, and then the top left here, we've got these extra little um, buttons and overlay and, and stuff. So there's a lot of real estate we can work with in this app. This is the most popular one. You'll see why, very well received. Here's a market overview. Uh, so you get, obviously, the, the markets are open right now, uh, being at 12, 16 noon. And uh, there you go. So you get the usual five-day, one-day analysis. We have uh, Markets of Canada, um, pretty snappy. And so we can look at all the different indexes here. This is, this is a really good app. Um, you know, five day, one month, three month, and then uh, just exit out there at the top right. And of course, we've talked about um, the touch availability of <laughs> this stuff. But the point here is you, you're jamming a lot of functionality, a lot of charting into an iPad. This is really incredible because you can take this and go compared to the pain of, you know, as we know, um, laptop or desktop. Um, not only that, um, with Facebook, they say, I think by the end of next year, uh, 2017 or 18 or within two years, something like 80% of all their traffic will be driven by mobile. So I keep saying this, this is the future. Um, if you're using more web or desktop, um, type of apps with those technologies and especially the languages, this sort of thing is really outdating uh, those technologies and that's why I'm really focusing on the mobile apps because this is the power that they bring plus you have the touch capabilities you can see here um, this this app is really 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 awesome um, I was like blown away by it uh, okay so let me continue along here so we got the different views we've got all our fundamentals there at the top um, you know it's just just awesome what, what, what this thing can do. I'll do the intraday. So as you can see there, there's the chart for that. Um, there's the different um, technicals, MACD, RSI. And you can see here under, you have discussion stock alerts, my notes, which is kind of cool actually. Um, so that's all cool. And then if you go back to the top right, you get all the different um, areas. That's really important. But I'm, I'm gonna walk you through all the menu options first before I attack that functionality. But you can see here the it's just amazing what what how this this app's been designed. Um, now here at the left here as it comes up, you can see the watch list of the Dow, NASDAQ, S P, and then of course we get into individual um, uh, stocks that you may have on your watch list. This, these can also be performance based. My theory is because I am kind of working with Redis and have really liberated myself from all the crappy licensing you get with other um, databases. I, I'm really 
able to really leverage the power that I get with Redis and the data that I'm able to push back and forth between my app and my server components, uh, both using iOS, or iOS, and with the Swift uh, technology and the languages I've tried to demo some of the videos on my channel uh, previously. But here, the idea here, what I'm visioning um, with these uh, these indexes and then the individual stock, I could rank these based upon uh, a snapshot of best performing or better yet having risk metrics that I can use or some kind of forecasting that would state these are your best um, uh, stocks or market securities that would be good for trading. Now, again, these are just for viewing purposes. I can automate all this. Uh, in the background, but you'll see some of the extra functionality you get with this thing. This, this thing's awesome. Okay, so, so what I just showed you generally is a market overview. Okay, um, you know, it, it just goes on and on. Uh, uh, just amazing. That's all I can say. Oh, uh, so let, let's go to the watch list. Now, if you've been watching me for a few years, you know that my system will maintain a watch list. It'll be a big watch list, probably going into the hundreds of markets or assets. Um, but you can see here, we've got all these different views and it's just, it's crazy. So we got the watch list, similar ideas what I showed earlier. Uh, now we get some news in there. Uh, I can easily drive that through um, my, my IQ feed. Also we have here earning announcements, uh, analysts. I, I don't ever see myself using these, but you know, this is part of the app, but, uh, you know, there's, there, and here, here's the nice thing about this particular app. You see here what says insider holdings, fund ownership. So you can see here the ETFs, who's owning Apple, or the top um, asset managers that are owning it, uh, which is very powerful. A lot, of, a lot of ways, new ways are coming out to analyze. Uh, the flow of these uh, ETFs. Of course, we have um, the big, the big uh, insiders who own stock and so on and so forth. So I'm not going to get into that too much. But here, this is interesting under uh, watched stock options. Right? Uh, I didn't. I didn't put that note in there. Apple is awesome. Buy more. I didn't do that. Um, but again. Uh, these these are just examples of what you can do with this particular app. So again, you got the stock watch options there. Really, really, really cool stuff. I mean, this this is awesome. I've never seen of all the systems that I've looked at, I've, and of all the uh, software I've looked at, nothing like this. Um, and and we're just scratching the surface. So we've got our watch list, so we can break them up if we want. Penny stock, Tim Syke may like that. Uh, Dow Jones components, so we can segregate it all out. As you can see here. Now, if you use the J stock, uh, this is really useful. Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is where it gets really powerful. These these portfolios here. So here we have different scenarios of portfolios that we can have. We have a tech portfolio. We also have a sample portfolio, and then we have the overall portfolio. So let's check out. Maybe the tech portfolio might be useful. So here, again, if you uh, have been uh, watching the ter uh, Telerik, you can know that I, I can easily generate the gauges and the pie charts quite easily with these kind of views of the different assets that are part of that portfolio. Uh, I'm just trying to see if I can break this into more. It uh, doesn't look like I can expand that uh, portfolio analysis. I know I thought you could. But uh, here's the portfolio overall. Uh, performance of it very 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 nice uh, close that out top right with the X there um, so okay I think I found something here so expanding into this particular uh, I think this is just the NASDAQ we've looked at that um, let me just see okay so we have all our different um, currencies that we can calculate our portfolio in um, again, that's the portfolio. Yeah, we just took a look at that one month view. That's really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, I like this a lot. Let me just see. Okay, 
So let's go back to portfolio report. So let's see the tech portfolio. Yeah, this is what I wanted to show. So you can, you can generate a, uh, a, a PDF from this. So this would be probably useful for uh, my members down the line. Um, so this would be typical portfolio analysis. What people don't really realize when it comes to um, stock trading, about 80% of your time is just managing portfolios. End of story. <laughs> you know what I mean? So this is, this is very useful. Um, so here we have the share options. Uh, obviously, you can put it on whatever, social media, email it out, whatever. So that's, that's a nice feature. Trading accounts now. Unfortunately, I'm not hooked into any uh, brokers here. But you can see all the various brokers this particular app has. They support all these different um, brokers. I'm not interested in any of this, but whatever. But uh, this is, again, this is the future. This is how it's going to be. Everything's going to be on mobile. And this uh, app, I think, is a great um, app. So a great app to demonstrate that. Anyways, um, obviously, you can go into virtual trading with this app into a community of people. So here in the leaderboard, you have all these people that are that are trading and they put their uh, return, how they're doing. Personally, I don't really care about that at this point at least. Messages between uh, community people. So that, that, those are nice, but for me, I'm, I'm only doing this for me because I'm greedy, I guess. <laughs> Poor me. Eh? Here's the stock futures. Um, again, uh, don't think we can expand that. I don't see why not. Okay, so we got stock futures, market stream news. Again, you know, we can, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> deliver this through um, through IQ feed. Uh, no problem, that's part of the subscription. Very good, very good. Uh, news group, uh, I guess Bloomberg, whatever they may have going on, what to do. Um, let's see. Trending discussions. Um, I think these are on like stock twits and twit stocks or whatever they call it. You know, gonna be honest, like that's all cool, but it's part of part of the community, I guess. Um, world markets. So here we got Canada. Again, we've we've talked about that. That's, that's pretty nice, man. Very good. Okay, um, so we got world markets. So again, we've got the global Asia, and then we have the bonds. Very similar to what you would get in the Bloomberg app. Market movers, this is this is really important. Now, I could, from my point of view, I could easily use JSTOC for this to uh, just basically have it... Um, basically have similar functionality in terms of data and drive it in and then present it into this type of app uh, or XLQ actually um, as well as a data source. Um, yeah, so that's all cool by volume and so on and so forth. Capital goods, so it's all segregated up by sector if you want, finance, healthcare, public utilities, technology, whatever. Okay, so uh, earnings cal uh, calendar. This is important as well. So let's see what's coming up uh, today, let's say. So I guess the, these are the stocks that are getting lined up for uh, earnings reports today. So yeah, here you go. Okay, so this one's called Hibbit Sport. You can see here um, under related news, Hibbit Sports earning calls scheduled 10 a.m. So uh, DXLG, let's see. So that's called Destination XL Group Files SE Form Results of Operations. So you can see here the, in the news here, Destination XL reports 3Q loss. So that will report all the earnings of those companies that are coming out for that day. That's kind of nice, actually, when you think about it. Trying to do this as a human. Good luck. All right, so let's see... Um, so let me just see here, uh, because this is so overwhelming. Uh, okay, so we've done earnings calendar. 
So what I'm seeing here is NASDAQ. Oh, wow. So you do can break it out. So let's see what's on the TSX. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty impressive if you ask me, man. Okay. So economic calendar, stock comparison. Okay. So we have Apple, Facebook, Amazon. That's pretty cool, actually. So you can break it out by comparing financials. So we have there at the top left, uh, Facebook is the blue one, Amazon is the purple one, so on and so forth. I guess that's the fang, no. Uh, financials, energy, healthcare, that's pretty cool. And let me just go back to the earnings, calendar. Wow, stock comparison is where we were. Okay, let's see what we can do. Ed, so you can edit those. I mean, this is awesome. Okay, so this is where things get really interesting. Back testing in this uh, app. This is this is really awesome. I've never seen this before, um, and that's why I think a lot of the broker apps suck compared to this one. So let's go into sample back testing. The interesting thing is, is we have here of these results of whatever they are for Amazon. Let's say we have here. Uh, volume, MACD, RSI, trade transactions that are, I'm not sure if these are simulated, uh, but uh, yeah, this is really good to have because from there, those are your transactions and then that obviously gets related back into the chart and then that will show your, um, your uh, profitability from that. Let's see what else we got. So that's all we have top of that boy oh boy does this get really powerful so you see here at the top we have here um, right here uh, the top chart where it has profit loss cost with the green versus blue that's really powerful for the back testing part um, and then of course we have um, our win loss all our PL total win total losses average win all the statistics on your transactions very powerful Okay, so this is where it gets really interesting. So I can choose my stock, um, Netflix in this case. We can look at a time frame of how we did. So let's say if we do a five day. Okay, so this is really good. Um, then we can take the action of long, short, or either one of those options. Dude, you gotta love this. I've never seen anything like this. This is really cool. Now here's where it gets really good. So you can pick off your strategy. Ain't that amazing? So you can throw in your MACD, RSI, and then add in your overlay on this PSAR, which I have never heard of, to be honest. But um, uh, that's obviously a technical indicator of some kind. But um, Let's see, I think if you want to check out that one, I did see that earlier. See here in red, uh, under transactions on chart, the PSR, PSAR is in red. Okay, now, this is this is now we can do candlestick. Now again, uh, you can do the touch stuff anywhere you want. This, this, this is, uh, <laughs> I'm speechless. This, this is all I can leave it at. If, if you want to be stuck on a computer in web, in uh, in web or a desktop or whatever, I mean, you got to be. Wow. <laughs> I'll just leave it at that. This this should blow your doors off. Uh, okay, so let's take a look at the Doji Star, which is obviously more candlestick stuff. So. Um, you know, you, you could easily add in on your back testing your custom strategies under your strategy and then just plug it in somehow, make a framework out of it. Uh, I think that's really good for that. So, you, you know, uh, this is this this back testing part is really good. So let's go into the back testing strategies section here. So we have here candlestick pattern, candlestick, three, three instruments, three. Instruments. So here under individual stat strategy we can use, oh, parabolic SR, okay, that's P-S-R-E-R, -E okay, no problem there. Momentum, upside down sign, counterattack, RSI, doji, 
Let's see what's under doji. Plus we have all the different doji or um, candlestick symbols. Um, doji, tricks, home pigeon, blah, blah. Look at them all. Don't know how useful these are, but somebody's using them, obviously. Okay, so, man, don't stop there. Remember, there's just one app. So here, we're looking at the stock screener. Again, we can have similar uh, performance from, let's say, uh, JSTOC could provide that or XLQ or somehow that could easily plug into my app as a data source. So again, um, high stock return. Now again, this is all historical because it's, it's already happened, but it's still useful. So we're looking at LOGM as one of them. So virtual trading, we don't care about that. Trade LOGM, yeah, so if, if there'd be some extra functionality if I had either my virtual account set up or my, um, my, uh, my, uh, bringing in the money, that's the big bacon talk in there. All right, so continuing along, boy, oh boy, this gets really crazy. Back testing, stock screener, I think that's where we were in. All right. So you can imagine this is just awesome. Market stock scan. Uh, I think that's where we were at. Okay. Enough of that. User stock scan. <laughs> like this is remember, this is just one freaking app. Um cash flow fun I mean this is unbelievable. I mean Okay. Uh, okay, so these are user stock scans. I didn't create these. So here we have, let's say the gap up. And also people that like to trade gap it up. Okay, fine. PSAR, bullish. These are bullish indicators. RSI, let's check out the RSI. So these are the ones that get flagged for, um, for better performance. CCI, fast stochastic, so on and so forth. And then we have the bearish indicators for the stock scan. Okay, stock alert. I don't have anything set up, um, but again, you can easily set those up under, um, you know, again, you could set it up in many ways uh, on the server side. Notification history, obviously that's going to be empty. Stock notes, I don't know. Man, this is awesome. Okay, um, boy. Okay, so let me continue. Manage stock, so, so this is all your parameters for, uh, okay. Um, knowledge Center, of course, this is driven by uh, Wikipedia, the settings for the app. Okay. <laughs> I think I'm already tired of doing this. So we have Bank of America. Let's see what we got here. So we have here uh, strike price. Now, we haven't even talked options yet. Ba boom, 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 right? Stock options, call, put. You can see that. Very, very nice. So add it to your stock option watch list. So let's see. We got going on here. Okay, so this is the option chain. Analysts, if you really care about them. Again, we talked about these guys. Chart. So these are all the settings. Make a note. Uh, here we have, boy, got other actions. <laughs> boy, so we, we could add these, mark, market scan. Um, so have we talked about this? User stock scan, stock alert, stock comparison overview. 
markets trending discussion market overview um, I don't know okay uh, I think we've kind of gone through everything so we've got stock futures that we've looked at all right so I call this a hell yeah app. this is a big a big app okay um, this is why I think it's ranked uh, number one on the App Store right now. Uh, so again, so here we can check out the option chain, which we already looked at. Okay, enough of that. Wow. Okay, so let me close this guy out and let's go back to see what else we have here. Okay, so we have um, Stock Tracker. Uh, okay, so we've got here, this is a little different because we have different market assets here. Um, so we have indices we've, we've talked about, um, see, it should have the basic charting. Yes. So we can check a daily, uh, five minute, whatever. So I'm not sure if this is live. Uh, 456 GDAX. Let's see what we got here. I don't, no broker linked. We don't care about that. So here we could add in just all our different, you know, trend lines or whatever. Fine. That's pretty cool. That even though you could do that. Um, so we can save the chart. Okay, coloring and all that. Whoop de doo. Okay, I'm gonna close that. Okay, so let's check out. So we have the same feature set. So we can do some freehand, high, and done. Okay. So let's see what else we got here. Not a bad little app. You know, extra little things that we don't have um, so we have the indices so this is more like for watching let's see if I can get rid of that whatever um, so we have here again event calendar EIA okay um, US stock IPO Coming IPO, real time market mover, stock loser, very similar to what we've had before. Okay. Okay. Um, Heat map view. Oh, this is different. So you can sort it. Action map. Just so if you don't know what a heat map looks like, that's a heat map. Now, question is that's pretty cool. Unfortunately, I don't know how to expand that heat map. Chart list view. Okay. One day, whatever, let's go back, action menu, hybrid view. Oh, I see, so it's just uh, charting plus with uh, whatever else, uh, action menu, voice on, I'm not gonna do anything there. Watch list, news. So I guess that's news for whatever Oh boy, this is a lot of information. Real time market mover. Okay. Not bad. Okay, so we know all about that stuff. Go back to home. So now we have help phone, mortgage, we don't care. Let's see what's in the store, stock screener. 
Advanced Chart Unlimited full version, $22. It's not too bad, but alerts, no alerts, portfolio. Mm -hmm. You can see why the other app is the better one. So that that app we just looked at is called Stock Tracker. The other one, the previous one is Stock Master. This one's not bad as well from investing.com. I'm just trying to get different views of how they do it. Lots of ads, who cares? Because it is free. So you can see a lot of the um, apps are similar, but here the only difference is just get additional um, assets that you can add. Commodities, this is the first time I'm seeing commodities among all these, Forex, pairs, bonds, very important. ETFs is another growing one that's very important to analyze. So let's get into the markets. That is the markets, calendar, I guess this is the calendar view, of what's important today. Again, I think we can use these um, as part of the, uh, part of the, uh, from IKEFI, their new service that they have. So here I like this because uh, this is kind of cool. Got your news and then it pops up the chart on that particular asset and other news as well for, from the CFTC. Not bad. Tomorrow, no events this week. Let's see what we got coming up. Uh, okay. Gross national product. This this is the important stuff here. I find the 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 upcoming news is is where it's at because obviously that impacts the um, markets. So this is a calendar. So we can set up these as. Uh, alerts portfolio. Mm, let's see what the Apple one. This is just news on Apple. Add a holding. Okay, so I'm gonna add it. Add to holding. Yep. Yeah, screw that. Uh, it's pretty basic, I think. Alerts. Turn on notifications. News, uh, we've looked at before, most popular, so on and so forth, commodities, news, um, stock market, okay, economic news, fine, fine, fine. Uh, so the analysis is from their analysis over at investing.com, some webinar stuff, we don't care about that. Earnings calendar, Top brokers, what do you do? Currency converter, everything else we don't need. Okay, so that's that app. Okay, let's take a look at the futures one. I have no idea who this is. My watch, these are pretty basic ones, I think. So, mm. okay, so let's see, common futures list. So we have beats. The only thing I could find useful in this one is uh, the list of actual assets that you can watch that everybody else is watching. Um, the chart, uh, I don't know if this is live, advanced chart. I don't know, favorite, advanced chart. Okay, so I have to buy or subscribe to something. Screw it, later, buy. So you can reload, okay, fine. Uh, Currencies, same idea, I think. Simple stuff. Bonds. Okay, so that's the energy currency quote list. Different pairs on their bid and ask. Uh, nothing to refresh. Okay. So I got some messaging down here, email us, message, stock station. Uh, okay, that is boring. Okay, so we've got that, that, that. All right, so let's go to MetaTrader. MetaTrader is kind of disappointing if you ask me. Um, the software is good. Now we've got our, our uh, chart. Now I've set this up in a paper trading mode, just so you know. But you know, you got 
a couple of cross pairs here. Do a chart. Oh, I see. So you can add, that's a pretty cool feature. Bollinger band. I do like that. I will admit that. So, oh, that's pretty cool. I got the done. Let's check it out. Main window. Sure, why not? Question is, how do you zoom this in? Oh, uh, simple. No. Okay, enough of that. We've got uh, our RSI right there. There we go. Standard deviation. Okay, so these are all the different indicators. So we've got here major crosses, CFD, forts, FX, T shares metals okay so we can add those if we wanted somewhere in there it should be in there okay um so there's uh some community stuff here oh okay so you, this this is for execution just so everybody knows i want to sell please wait order so i've done my first order again this is simulated so there's our trade right there, our order. So I can see similar to probably to what the TWS has for iPad or iPhone or deals. Okay, mailbox, read news, journal. Okay, so there's our order. What do you do? Okay, um, Okay. so how do I get out of this? Okay, so I think we've done our cell. So here's some settings we can set for our, let's do a bar chart, candlestick, tick volume. Have before the volumes or HLC data window color. We don't care about this point. So here we can have our indicators, Bollinger bands. What do we got here? Uh, main window, RSI, standard deviation. Fine. So we can add objects, lines, I guess. Uh, here's our periods that we can look at hourly, daily, weekly. And then we have our orders. I think that is it for not a bad little app compared to the other one that we looked at. All right, so let's say bye bye to that one. Okay, so this one I haven't really played with. Uh, this one. Okay, so what do we do here? Okay, cool. My in or out? Okay, so we've got lots of flashy stuff going on. Apparently I'm in light mode. Uh, so here's our chart. Okay. Right on. Okay, so double tap. Oh, I see. Cool. Not bad. So let's see what we can do. Line chart. Candlestick. Hourly. There's our period. So I guess these are um, high low line. You say so? Done. All these different uh, fancy schmancy patterns, studies. Shoot the star. Done. Go. Well, you can't go wrong with those. Don't know if they're really meaningful or anything. So, what do we have here? Measure freehand, measure close. Okay. 
Those are high, low, blue. Okay, lower volume. Okay. Oh, net down. Are you sure you want to delete objects studies? No. Uh, what do we got here? Not a bad little charting facility there. Let's move on. Okay. Load from the overlay instrument. Hmm. Save settings, sh share chart. Uh, I want to get out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so we're back to where we were. Okay, so we have DTXS composite. Okay, so that's our TSX. So we've got our news. We know about news, we've seen it before. Calendar. Metals. I think this is a broker, Net Daniel. God, I might be with it. It is a nice app. Stocks Canada. Continue light. Boring. Uh, high low. Dow Jones. Continue light. Okay, so these are all the different stocks available. Dow Jones, continue. Loading chart. Oh, we got our statistics I missed. Three month change. Markets. So let's choose, I don't know, United Kingdom. Let's do the FTSE. Okay. There we go. Okay, cool. Apply. Continue light. Um, top is the British one. Okay. Hmm. Got some other cool stuff. News. Metals. Tutorials, little videos and whatever. Yeah, so this is definitely a broker. Okay, uh, now, that's how many apps have we looked at? Six? Seven? Uh, nope, we don't want that. This one is the best one, Stock Market. I don't work for these guys. I just, I'm really inspired by that app. Very nice. Anyways. Thought I would uh, share this with you and uh, let me know what you think. I'll uh, start get working on that app. And again, not to be built, but only for me because I'm special. Talk to you later. Bye. Thanks for hanging out.